I, uh, I might have, might have done something. Yeah. Not in like a bad thing. Well, maybe it's a, a bad thing. It's technically an investment into my career, I guess. Um, probably the biggest purchase I've, I've made uh, of my life, but I think it's one that's worth it. Room's a, a mess still. Yeah, obviously going full time as a freelancer, I need better equipment, really. And um, I need an upgrade for a while. <laughs> This is the Mac Studio display monitor. It's also with the nano texture glass as well. The box is huge. This is this is a big, big box. Is this a mistake? <laughs> and my answer for that, because I already know the answer, it's it's a no, it's not a mistake. Um I think this is a step in the right direction for me, um, personally. And as a freelancer, I think well I think it'll pay itself off. Without further ado, let's get it open. There we go. Oh, that was really satisfying. I believe that means that this... Oh, it seems like it wants to go on the floor. Oh. Uh, wow. I want to keep the box because I might move out at some point. You know, this is going to last me 10, 10 years, definitely. Or maybe even more, who knows. But it's going to be moved for a long time. So I want to keep the box because if I do end up moving out in those 10 years, then I can take it with me everywhere I go and it's going to stay with me for my whole life. This is why I think it's going to be a good investment. The main issue now is, will it fit on my desk? Uh, this is my desk current setup. It's, oh, so ignore it, it's filthy. Um, currently in the process of cleaning. Uh, it's got a lot of stuff on it. My MacBook, my, my baby, got me through university. Uh, I love it. I think it's a really good laptop. Uh, it's just powerful enough for me to do uh, these videos and if I need to do any, handle anything anymore, um, well, I don't really need to. This handles 4K very, very well. Uh, well, as well as it probably uh, can do. Sorry, it's just fixing my camera here. Yeah. It can handle 4K, I think, decently enough for me to not warrant getting an upgrade. I don't need another computer. I don't. I think getting the next possible upgrade from this would be either a better MacBook, which for me kind of makes no sense because this is good enough as it is and. I don't want to get another MacBook. Um, my biggest issue at the moment is the size of it. Additionally, at work, I get my own laptop, and that's 15 inches, uh, and I really, really enjoy using that. It's a bit, bit bigger, can see a lot more. Um, it's just nicer to have a bigger screen to work with, especially if you're doing video work. And the most reasonable upgrade for me is to get a studio monitor that will act as my computer. So it's still gonna be the same, it's just a bigger screen. I can put anything into it, work laptop, home laptop, anything. And even if I decide to upgrade later on in life, say I'd have to get a spec'd out Mac Mini or a very standard Mac Studio as an upgrade from this, then that I would need a monitor anyway. So I might as well just get one now and split up the payment um, because that helps me a lot more. But yeah, no, so I've bought this with off my own back from doing a lot of work between graduating and now. Obviously, I wouldn't have bought this if I don't know that I'm working for the next few months like I, I have confirmed work right until june so very happy about that um and this will help me get further work but also help me do normal work this is what i buy instead of buying clothes um or going on really expensive holiday i do like travel i like traveling etc but i'm not really that lavish need to go big places um, so this is my, this is my holiday, technically, my big holiday. We should probably, I want to get it set up, but I am terrified, uh, almost, to use it. It's unlike a laptop or anything, this is probably the biggest thing, size-wise, that I've bought. My only issue now is, uh, will it fit on the desk? This is not a very big desk, this is, um, quite small in terms of depth-wise. It should be alright. Um, but yeah, I should probably get this set up. This box is like origami. Holy shit. It's scary. But also, really exciting. So, you might be asking um, a question, and that question is probably, uh, why buy an Apple monitor? Um, and question, answer being, well, first of all, this, my laptop connects to this via USB-C one cable, um, and it controls all of this, with what happens on here. Or well, this controls everything that happens on my computer. So it's like, this, it, it, it gets kind of, they call it um, clamshelling. So it's like everything, it, it gets transferred. It's like, like being possessed. 
so that's that's one reason. And second reason being, uh, I, I like the Apple stuff. I think it works really well. Apple Care is great. If it's all in one family, there's no reason for it not to work. Um, and also the Apple support team are great. And also, it's actually for, for nano texture glass, actually very reasonable price, actually, um, for what you pay. And I think it's a good bang for your buck. And I'd rather everything be in the Mac family. I know that's cheeky how they do it and they get you, um, but I'd rather pay for quality. I know that. I know there's other options. I have looked at other options. Uh, also, I can charge more as a freelancer if I have all Apple stuff. This box is confusing. Get out. Also, one nice thing is that with these, everything comes included in the box, which is always helpful, unlike the iPhone. Now, seeing it in my setup, this is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's huge. This is 27 inches, um, which is massive. Yeah, so much bigger than I thought. Right, let's plug this bad boy in. A conveniently spaced outlet just behind it. I will sort out the cables later. I will sort out the cables later. It's me trying to manifest me doing cables. This is so, this is like scary. I think it's because this is mine, you know what I mean? I've set up like, in comparison, I've set up cameras that are worth over, you know, 100, 150,000 pounds, so. You know, in comparison, mo monetary-wise, it's not. What is this box trying to do? Don't be difficult. Is that push? I don't want to be doing origami. I just want my cable. That's a pull. This was like, it should be way easier. Who designed this? No, California. Oh, it's a pull. There we go. Holy guacamole. So, well, I think because this is mine, and also it's like computers and screens, so not everything I completely understand. I've had to do a lot of researching and learning. Um, but this is the cable that connects everything from, it's one cable, one cable that connects everything from my laptop to my computer monitor. Awesome. That's, oh, it's a piece of paper. Right, okay, yeah, just plug cable and cable. Oh, <gasps> I've got a special microfiber. It's an Apple branded microfiber thingy, cloth. Um, also, stickers going in the sticker pot. I have a collection going. My flight case, Sully, is getting a bit full of stickers. I don't know what to cover with stickers next. Um, I don't know what else to cover with stickers. Also, as it's technically my day off, I spent this morning watching uh, The World's End. Great film. Made me miss my friends a lot. I need to put this in a nice, clean, safe place. Fortunately, I got this hard drive case. I can live in there for now. Having clean screens, big, big thing for me. What? You smell nice. I smell nice. Yeah. Do I? Have you sprayed your spray? I, I did, but up here. Of course, you can really smell it. It's lovely. Thank you. It's parents. Yeah. Parents home. I appreciate it. Right, it's a bit dark, but um, that's because I shut the blinds. Because it's my new setup. This is um, kind of insane. It's like a dream come true. So this is my Mac Studio monitor. And this is my MacBook. I got this lovely little stand for it as well, for it to go on. This is insane. It's kind of crazy. My only pet peeve with the studio monitor is that obviously you can't put hard drives in it. You can't read the drives. Likewise, with stuff like audio, the only thing it has on the back is power cable and four USB-C outputs, which do which power things. So yeah, like charging stuff. So not insanely useful, but it's good if I'm charging my um, for instance, my keyboard, my magic keyboard, and my mouse. Uh, also, this mouse is stupid. Uh, the only charge I did know this before buying, uh, but I still wanted to use a mouse. Uh, that's that's the power. Um, you know, I have to charge it. And uh, do you want to see something? This is stupid. Uh, let's let's just get this lightning cable out. Charge via lightning cable. Again, why is it not? Why is it not wireless? Um, yeah. So that's how you charge it. Notice notice a problem. You know, notice that you can't, yeah, it's always been like that. I haven't thought about changing it. Uh, it is a nice mouse, actually. Um, again, it will not be part of the Apple family. There is other alternatives you can get, but I wanted to get that one. So, um, yeah, this is my new setup, my new shindig. Yeah, time to make back the money I spent on it. That's <laughs> my only worry, but uh, I'm sure we'll get that. But awesome. Ela sempre chega, baby, she's a... Salto alto, saia colorida Nunca passa despercebida Feita para se apaixonar